Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Matthias Gamrot versus Dan Hooker. Matthias Gamrot, 24 wins, 2 losses, 4-1 in one his last 5 fights. The 1 loss is against the very good and talented Benil Dariush. Minus 260 favorite, 33 years old, 5'10 with a 70 and a half inch reach. Fighting Dan Hooker, who's 23 wins and 12 losses. He's 3-2 in two in his last 5 fights. Plus 210 underdog for Dan Hooker, 34 years old, 75 and a half inch reach, 5 inch reach advantage for Dan Hooker. Do I think Dan Hooker gets taken down in this fight? Absolutely. I don't think Gamrot is great at holding guys down. He has very good scrambles. He ends up on top a lot, but he's very susceptible to, susceptible to being scrambled with. Now, do I think Dan Hooker is some great guy on the ground? Absolutely not. But if you look on Dan Hooker's record with his 23 wins, he has 18 finishes, has been finished six times out of his 12 losses, 13 and eight in the UFC has been finished four times. Three by TKO or KO. Islam Akachev submitted him clearly. Champion. Arnold Allen by finish. Chandler by finish. Uh, Hudson Barboza was the first guy to finish him. So there is that. I definitely think Dan Hooker fought the better opponents. But again, what I was saying was... Um, where is it? Uh, Jim Miller, he he finished him with a knee. Ross Pearson finished him with a knee. Gilbert Burns, he finished. Obviously... A late class lower. Jalen Turner, he showed that dog, but it's a perfect style matchup for him. So grappler wise, grappler wise, I don't think Gamrod is, is the grappler that Macha, um, um, Islam Makachev is at all. Not even a little bit. Yeah, not even a little bit. So he hasn't really fought that next level grappler besides Islam Makachev. So Gamrod being the fighter that he is and RDA dropping him in his last fight. I really, really like Dan Hooker in this matchup because his knees, his knees are going to be so big in this in this match. I do think he gets taken down. That's a little worrisome for sure. But at some point, Gamera, without making all the mistakes that he makes in his fights, it has to come out at, again at some point. Thirteen finishes out of his twenty-four wins. He does have nine finishes in the first round. I don't does he have one single finish in the first? Nope. No, oh yeah, one Kimura against Jeremy Stevens. So yeah, there you go. Um, I don't think he's fought the guys that uh, Dan Hooker has, even though he has fought Armisa Yukin, beat him, fought Diego Fierro, which people don't forget that fight because Fierro, Fierro uh, got hurt in that matchup. A very, very fun fight. Also beat Jalen Turner. Rafael Vasivas' leg, leg blew out. Beat RDA two rounds to one, second and third round, got beat up badly in that first round with knees especially i like dan hooker i think he's a little bit more crisp i think he finds the shot i think he does enough to uh, uh stifle matthias gamrot i think dan hooker gets a big shocking at plus 210 underdog money yeah i think dan hooker gets the job done and as always guys subscribe like comment peace